Hey everyone, this is Sister Crystal here with Other Side of 40. And um, I'm here with another episode of Channel Chronicles, episode two. So I know it's been a little while, but you know, in, in my Channel Chronicles, it's just channeling me as a um, budding content creator or what have you. And the ups and downs of, of just trying to build a channel and, and learning different things or what you can do. Or, or what you should do and what you should not do. So today I am going to share my list of how to turn viewers off your videos early on or what have you. So the first thing would be if you've already cut off the video, maybe this is what I'm doing wrong. But like I said, I am here to learn and maybe it at the very least people can learn what not to do just by listening to me and watching my videos. But anywho, so um, how to fall out of love with videos or how to click off of videos or get people to click off your videos early on. Um, the first thing, putting ads throughout your video every 30 seconds. Now, that's a biggest pet peeve of mine. Um, and especially newly monetized uh, channels, they do this often. And uh, and there's no shade. I'm no shade. I'm not hating on you. First of all, congratulations if you're new to, newly monetized. But the quickest way to get me to click off of your video and don't even watch is when I see those little yellow lines on there. I know those yellow lines mean that those are ads and you have like the you have a, a video or what do you call it an ad every 30 seconds on a daggone 30 minute video. It's like, oh, my goodness, if I wanted to watch mostly commercials, I would watch television again. You know, I have not watched TV. This is June. Um, June 25th, 2019, as I'm recording this, I have not watched television at all this year. So I have not watched television in six months, but I don't even miss it. You know why? Because it's so much online and any news or anything like that, I get it. Any local news, I'll get it through the internet, through social media, and um, all the news stations they have streaming online. They have apps, so I don't really have to watch television. But when I was watching television, I remember they played so many commercials throughout a 30-minute episode, you know, you end up watching mostly commercials. So again, when I see all those little yellow tags, on someone's video, I just click off because I don't, I don't want to watch mostly um, ads. I feel like um, I don't know if the person wants to uh, or people who do that, if they just want to make as much money from AdSense as possible or if they want to punish the viewer because they didn't see the video when it was first uh, posted. Now, this is mostly, I guess, streaming videos or whatever. But again, I'm not watching the video with all those ads in it. That's just me. The second way to turn me off, and I'm only speaking for myself. The second way to turn viewers off from watching your video is to ask people to like, comment, subscribe at the beginning of your video. My thing is, what am I as what am I liking and subscribing for? when I don't even know what the content is. I don't even know what you're about to say. And then you come on telling me at the beginning, like, comment, subscribe. What am I liking? I'm liking the fact that of what? You know, now for me, I do say uh, I do ask people to like, comment and subscribe. But I ask that at the end of my video. So really, most people don't even hear me say it because according to the analytics, a lot of people don't make it to the end of my videos. And that's fine. I want to improve that. However, the analytics also shows that even though it's a small percentage of people who may view my videos, most of those people do do watch to the end. So I, I I thank you for that. And I'll do everything I can to try to improve my, um, I guess what they call it, click through rate or whatever. You know, I want people to enjoy my content. And at the very least, if I'm doing something wrong, you just know what not to do. So again, that that's another pet peeve. I just hate when people ask, like, comment and subscribe at the beginning of the video. What am I liking? What am I commenting for? I don't even know what you're about to say. 
And then the third um, thing too is, so this is specific to when people uh, live stream. So the third pet peeve is constantly begging for money during your live broadcast or talking down to your subscribers who cannot support financially. Now I run, I have been running into that a lot more lately too especially again not picking on the newly monetized channels but they violate this a lot and it's like well, why don't you super chat me or why don't you donate why don't you paypal me why don't you cash app me and i'm like okay there's a nice way to say it first of all and second of all i don't remember asking anyone to come on here and say please make videos on youtube everybody come on here and we start making videos on our own um the last time i checked for me no one asked me to come on here and make videos and say sister crystal go on here and make some videos and even if they did that doesn't mean you have to talk down or beat people over the head and say donate 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 that's such a pet peeve i have actually unsubscribed from um channels who beat down their viewers so bad like I'm gonna say one in particular now I'm not gonna say any names but this was I have unsubscribed to several channels and these channels have huge followings they're like 500,000 subscribers or more so I'm, I'm not talking about anybody under 500,000 subscribers but I had one in particular and this was like a couple of years ago before I even thought about becoming a content creator this person berated and talked down to their viewers so bad that I unsubscribed and I had not resubscribed since and this was a couple of years ago I'm probably gonna sort of give it away but they have over a million subscribers now so this was a couple years ago they had like over 500,000 subscribers but my thing was, was the channel owner was saying hey you know I'm doing all of this doing all this content and I need new cameras and I need this and I need that and it's like okay you know why are you telling us you know if, if someone donates to your channel that's good but when we get to the point and I'm putting myself in here too because maybe one day I won't be such a small YouTuber or whatever I have to remind myself that people don't owe you anything they don't owe you a click and a view they don't owe you any money they owe you nothing so when you buy new equipment and stuff like that I feel and I'm learning that it's a business so if you invest into your channel by buying new equipment that's great but it doesn't mean that you come on and berate your listeners and say hey donate so I can do this and that because what I see is happening is yeah people might donate like that but then they start to feel like they own you and they own your channel I mean it's a two-way street so the the content creators they say donate 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 and I need this and I need that and people start donating People want to see, okay, where's your new camera? How come your setup isn't better? And maybe you're not able to do that right now. But once you start putting that out there, then people start to feel ownership over your channel. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. So, and I did kind of go down a different rabbit hole, didn't I? Okay. But again, the third turnoff is begging your subscribers for money. Just, I mean, there's a way to say it like, hey, you know, we appreciate your donations and, you know, whatever you can give. It's a nice way to say it. And unfortunately, I, especially with the new, newly monetized people, I'm not seeing too many of them being humble. It's almost like they feel like they're doing us a favor. You're not doing us any favors. So to sum it up, the top three ways to turn viewers off is one, putting ads throughout your video every 30 seconds. Um, that's the way to turn me off. Two, asking people to like, comment, and subscribe at the beginning of your video. Now that's not necessarily, that wouldn't necessarily make me turn off your video, but that is kind of like, uh, you know, wait till the end. And number three, constantly begging for money on your videos or throughout your live broadcast. So if you made it this far, thank you. And um, this is Sister Crystal with Other Side of 40. 
and um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. What are your pet peeves on here? And I, and actually, it's helping me too. What are your pet peeves of you know different channels and, and different things that we can improve on? Because guess what? The um, bar is being raised as far as becoming monetized. So if that's something that you as a content creator is looking to do, just know, just a, a, a brief reminder, January 2020 the um you're gonna have to have 4,000 subscribers and 10,000 hours in watch time in order to be monetized so some of those people that are monetized now a lot of them will probably won't be monetized in January so this is the time for us to uh work on our skills and um you know get our skills up or whatever and even if you don't become monetized at least uh you've uh, learned a new skill and, and can do something with that so all right then this is sister crystal with other side of 40 and um until next time take care